Hello, everybody. Welcome to Kyle Emblem Part 15. That's two fives and a five, in case you couldn't do math. Uh, yeah, I am in the 15th part of playing this stupid game. So we're going to get right into it. And I don't even remember where we left off, but I know last time it seemed like we were having a good time. So hopefully that continues this week. All right, let's get started. Okay, so, distortions, Ooh. Okay, looks like, I can't remember exactly. Does it seem a little dark to you guys? Let's see if I can, yeah, that's better. Much better, a little bit brighter. All right. See if we can get into it. I think I was, uh, I can't remember if I lost this map or not. No, I don't think so. Nope, I did. I remember. <laughs> it was real bad. <laughs> All right. Oh, he went bye-bye. All right, let's see what we got. Everybody's fighting. Here's what we're not gonna do. We're going to give... See what happens. Nobody can move fast apparently in the desert. I don't know why that is, but it's a big impediment to movement. Apparently he's very good at putting people to sleep, which is annoying. Hmm. That's all I got. Just move people back.
<laughs> good job, Nolucci. Can't do anything for damage, but good job, regardless. <laughs> wow. What's up, guys? How you doing? I'm trying to figure out how best to approach this very uh, stupidly difficult level for no reason. No, don't do that. We're just gonna have to deal with this the worst way possible. That could have been way worse. <sighs> New Lucha, you little bird. Who's watching? But if you like Fire Emblem, let's talk about Fire Emblem. Because, like, holy crap, Fire Emblem is awesome. No, I haven't played it in a really long time. This is like the first and only Fire Emblem that I've played uh, since 2010 ish. Something like that. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Oof. Emulator did not like that. <laughs> this emulator, Dolphin, uh, is what I'm running, and it seems to very much not like uh, magic attacks for some reason. I don't know why. But man, does it not like them.
keep forgetting that I can use him now. He was asleep for so long. There you go. Tenneth. Black Knight doing his thing. Man, these guys have a ton of reinforcements just all over the place for no reason. Can't believe he missed that. What a sham! This guy has, like, such a hard-on for... I don't get it. He just really wants to go after Soth. Oh my gosh, it's like endless reinforcements in this, match, uh, this uh, map. It's crazy. It's stupid, too, because, like, we're already so outnumbered. I don't know. Sometimes, I don't know if you guys have played this game or other Fire Emblem games, but a lot of the times it feels like they just, at every opportunity, they try to make it as difficult as needlessly possible for you. And it just, I don't know, sometimes it really doesn't sit right with me because it's like, you know, realistically, I don't think that this many people would be teleported to a desert to, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just crazy, but we're complaining. I don't know. Can you stop, dude? Like, nobody likes that. Look at this! It's ridiculous! Every single, every single round and we have to kill all these people oh my gosh literally like so ridiculous
How does he get two hits on a on a distance spell? That's insane. There we go. What are you talking about? Oh my gosh! Are you freaking kidding me? Ridiculous. Okay. Bad idea, dude. This is insane. Like, really.
They just keep bringing people in. Seriously, this is turn 16. And there's still a full maps full of people left. That's absolutely ridiculous to me. I cannot believe they're, they're doing this crap. I'm like hesitant to move forward because I don't want them all to rush into uh, everything. Oh boy. Jeez, holy crap. Holy crap! Why are you not attacking these guys twice, dude? What the heck? She's got to be. She's maxed out on magic and resistance. She's like ridiculously strong. is moving. Good. Holy crap, dude. Where do these people keep coming from? Wreck him. 
Wow. Actually hurt the Black Knight. Didn't think that was supposed to be able to uh, be possible. Honestly, I am 100% fine with the Black Knight going in and just going after people. <laughs> we will rack up so many turns in this stupid, stupid map. There you go. Start wrecking them. Come at me, bro. Keep doing it, dude. I'll just keep healing him.
Come on. Good luck. Oh boy. Mm. That's not good.
<laughs> nice. Level eight, I think. Seven. Well, we get this sweet little aside with like a 13 year old girl and two lesbians. So nice. <laughs> Prince Kritnaga tells of the connection between Dayan and the dragon tribes. Ranulf reveals the identity of the Black Knight. These revelations send Ike's mind spinning in a whirlpool of confusion and doubt. Ike becomes convinced that the answers to all of his questions lie within the Tower of Guidance, and he is determined to reach the Tower at any cost. His group arrives in the Duchy of Tannis, near the Imperial capital. Caught in a sudden downpour, they take shelter in the Duke's deserted villa. Duke's deserted villa. Wish I had a deserted villa. Be awesome. Also, what's up, uh, Celeria? C Celeria noob. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's also it's coming up blue on my screen, so it's really hard to make out the letters. <laughs> it's like a really dark blue against black. I know, right? Who doesn't want a villa? That'd be great. I mean, I wouldn't want to pay the taxes on it, but I doubt they did that back then. Oh, okay. Great. I didn't realize that it was you, Celia. How you doing? It's been good seeing you. Or, uh, finally good to see you. It's been so long. I feel like we only ever interact on uh, Twitter. Now you can at least see my face. Are you still in LA? 
I can't remember if you I think you are. Great. Yeah, dude, Fire Emblem is like my first real like video game love was was Fire Emblem. Okay, you're you're in Boston. Awesome. Uh, Boston is sick. I miss it. I want to go back. Maybe not right now in the winter because it's super cold. But although it's also cold here, I think it is 26 degrees here right now. Not that bad, but. No, okay, so this is, uh, to my great shame, I have not played any other Fire Emblems past this one. This was like the last one that I ever played uh, in, in college. I had my Wii, and I had this one, and then Path of Radiance, which were like my two favorites. I, I really, I love the storyline for these two. Um, I know I have to play Three Houses. I know I have to play, um, there's like th there's like two or three, right? For One was for like 3DS or DS, and there's like a bunch. Tell me all about them. Tell me which one's your favorite and why you prefer them, because I'm really interested in, them, in uh, getting them. I know there's one for... Is Three Houses the one for Switch that just came out? There's like three... Yeah, I know. There's like a ton of them now. It's ridiculous. Three Houses is the Switch one. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I've heard nothing but good things about Three Houses. So I'm definitely really, really interested to check it out. Played Awakening, uh, that's what it was, Awakening on the 3DS, I think, which I liked. I played the old Game Boy ones as well, but honestly, everyone I played was amazing. Yeah, so I grew up playing um, the original Fire Emblem, or, not the first, first one, not it, what, Shadow Dragon, I think is what it was, but they hadn't imported it yet. So uh, it was the original American version of Fire Emblem, and then Sacred Stones, which I played on my Game Boy Advance slash SP. Those were like, I love playing those. They're so good. Um, that's what really got me into like the series. Was I, I love the gameplay aspect of it, and it's just so fun and you know, nice little, nice little stories that you can tell. And, and I don't know. I always feel, I always feel better when I'm playing Fire Emblem. Like it makes me feel smart when I when I do something and I win and it makes a difference. And then it makes me feel really 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 stupid when I when I lose because it's like oh I forgot this guy had a crossbow and that my Pegasus Knight is right next to him. Yeah. But I've had, if you, if you watched any of the other, there's like 15 of these um, that I've done so far. If you've watched like any of the other 14, inevitably there's going to be a moment where it's like something stupid happens and then it, you know, and it's after an hour of playing through like one single map and it's just, it ruins the entire night. It's, it's it just makes me so sad. But on the flip side, you know, it feels really good to win. So, and I genuinely like I love the stories and the characters, and it's just although this one's this one's story is a little bit more. Um, I don't know what the word is. It's like more a little bit more convoluted and unnecessary. You spend way more time. I don't know if you played this one before. You spend way more time with the Dawn Brigade, which is like. I don't give a crap about the Dawn Brigade. Like, I really don't. I mean, they're fine. Like, Makaya and, and Soth are, are cool characters, but I want to play with Ike, like a, like a, the Grell mercenaries. Like, that's who I want to spend my time with. And they split you up in this game between, like, three different factions. And I don't know. Like, I'm with I'm with my favorite group of characters in this, in this map, so I'm happy. So Torment is here. We gotta get to Torment. Like it's hard to get away with the narrative. Yeah, I mean, you can do it, but you just have to really be invested in the characters. Like, especially if they're new characters, and you're putting them next to characters that you've already spent a game's worth of time fighting as, then there's not really gonna be a comparison unless you find a really compelling narrative hook. To, to get you interested, and I don't think that this game has that. Like, Makai is interesting, but the idea of the Dawn Brigade is like, 
they're they're it's like a group of young kids basically and when you play with them they're so weak like like they're just supremely underpowered and it's it makes playing those levels really annoying because it feels like you're just being oppressed by the enemy the entire it doesn't feel like you're on you know even slightly even ground it's it's I, I, the difficulty of the AI in this game versus the previous game is just ridiculous. It's kind of like I'm playing Luigi after playing Mario. Yeah, 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 exactly. Some random NPC. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 just not the same. You haven't you haven't built up that rapport with the characters, but it is what it is. So have you have you played this one or Path of Radiance before? Oof, hit a lot. Look at all these people. Also, I think I fought here in the last game. Pretty sure. This is like the big guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oliver. I don't think so. It was when you were 10, you had like no memory. Yeah, so. Path of Radiance came out for the GameCube, and this came out for the Wii. I don't think they made a, a, Wii, a GameCube version of this game. So it was like a really weird two-part series that was split between consoles. So I don't, a lot of, I think a lot of people haven't actually played it, but really good game. Um, if you can get past the fact that the enemy AI is ridiculously overpowered. But it's fun. I mean, it's, you know, you can play it on, like, I just grabbed a ROM. Sorry, Nintendo, if you're watching this stream. Um, and just went, you know, went to town with the Dolphin emulator. Oh, I should not have done that. That was really stupid. I'm making really bad decisions right now because I'm trying to talk and I can't talk and play at the same time. <laughs> Apparently. He's gonna get hit. I know it. Yeah. Well, that was... Big dumb energy for me. No, Celia. You're worth it. You're worth the sacrifice. You have this super powerful magic. Why weren't you using that instead? You young whippersnappers and your magic. I don't get you. Alright, this is all around bad decisions. Okay. How much... I wonder if it's... I need to check on the price for that. Can you... Can you... <laughs> Oh, nice. Okay, hey, that's a plus for me. There's like, there's like allusions to gay characters in, uh, in both of the, like, it's sort of like, Ike might be gay. It, it, he, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know. It's hinted. Um, his, his sort of second in command, his, um, strategist, Soren, is like, they kind of have a thing for each other. I don't know. It could be, it could be read into that, but it's never explicitly stated, as is so often done with Nintendo. Um, but at the same time, pretty cool. Yeah, I um, I'm I'm really glad that now you know they're sort of okay with it and and realize that hey, there's actually a lot of gay gamers out there who, or I should just say queer gamers out there who want that representation and it's really important to them and it's uh, okay good okay so he lived if he gets hit one more time he's dead <sighs> and i'll just have to restart which is annoying but at least i didn't get 90 percent of the way done but yeah uh i think nintendo you're you're right i think they're they're finally opening up to that and, and allowing for that sort of representation to happen which is great Also, I turned off the, like, fight scene animation, because it just takes so long. I love Fire Emblem, but man, 
sometimes I just want to go, like, without waiting. <laughs> Good. I should level up. Even this game, it's like, this is sped up as fast as you can have it. And I'm like, I, I, I would go faster. Sorry, Vika. You, I don't know you, so I don't really care about you. <gasps> He's so close to dying. It's ridiculous. I don't have time, my very busy schedule of doing nothing. I know, right? You gotta, you know, you just have to watch those fight animes and then not do anything else. It takes up the entire day. What, okay, what anime you're watching right now? I haven't watched an anime series in a really long time, like just straight up from start to finish, um, but I want to, because I need to get back to anime. Somebody told me I needed to watch, um, Attack on Titan. I watched the first or second season, the first season when it first came out when I was in college. And then there was like a four year break between seasons and I just never. Oh, fight animations. I read that as fight animes. And I was like, what fight anime are you watching? <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> That's what I get for speed reading. On my really hard to read uh, screen, apparently. That's really funny. I know, now I'm like, well, what's a good fight anime other than, like, I don't know, Naruto or something? I, I don't know. I don't... I watched one, and I, for the life of me, cannot remember the name of it. It was short. It was only, like, 14 episodes. It was pretty good. My Hero Academia is really good. Oh my gosh, the main character, I'm trying to remember what it was, the main character was a woman, and she fought with like a mace, and she was, she was protecting like a, a prince or something, or had to, had to take a prince from one place to another, Some, something along those lines, but it was pretty good, I actually really liked it, and the, the fight scenes were like, phenomenally well done, I gotta, I gotta find that, it's gonna bother me until I find it. Uh, anime. I, this is this is where like your Google searching prowess comes in handy. Is like, how do I how do I give Google enough context to figure out what I'm thinking? Is what I'm remembering correctly? Like, I need. I'm. It's like anime, woman, mace, fight scene. <laughs> I don't know. Oh man, if I can find it. Fifteen great anime featuring strong female protagonist. Thanks, Screen Rant. Kill a Kill, Mystery, Supernatural, no. Rome ro no. Uh Agretetz Agretsuko? Agretsuko? Violet Evergarden, Ghost in the Shell. No, it was like an actual, none of these are fight animes, what the heck? This is, this is what the stream is actually for, is me figuring out old animes that I used to watch. Old 2000s kids games. What kind of, what kind of kids games? Like, um, like Pajama Sam stuff? Although, I think that would be the 90s, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it would be the 2000s. Although, your reference and my reference might be a little different. That more obscure stuff that you remember playing but couldn't remember the name of. There was a game called. It was a Carmen San Diego entry, and it came in a Captain Crunch cereal box. And it was an educational game, and I think it was like Carmen San Diego and the Tower of 
Babylon or, or like the Babylon machine. But it, it wasn't like Babel, like B-A-B-E-L. It was like, oh my gosh, I can't remember. Maybe, maybe it was the Babylon machine. It was like you had to go to different places and do different like vocabulary slash grammar slash English based uh, detective work to solve the, the 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 mystery and to unlock different agents that had been corrupted by the Babylon machine and it was like oddly scary it was there were like moments where it was like you would you would solve everything and the music was kind of a little too creepy for a kids game you would solve everything and then you would hit like the tele it would teleport you from one location to either the next location or back to where the Babylon machine is and like as you would teleport, some like henchmen would walk in and like see you. And it was genuinely scary because you're like, if I don't get the heck out of here fast enough, they're gonna kill me. And it was like, I just, I remember being like eight years old being like, I'm getting really worked up. Like, I, you can't keep doing this to me game. You have to let me get out without them finding me. And it was, it was, uh, it was a little much for a kid's game, but it was, it was fun. Yeah, I, okay, so. Putt Putt was like one of the only games that wasn't really creepy. I mean, it almost always took place during the day. You were playing a purple like convertible. That sort of stuff is fine. But like, there were, and and it's the same thing with movies where I feel like it used to be the stuff that was marketed as kid friendly was like, would be borderline, you know, pretty serious PG-13 rating today. And I don't know, it was, uh, it, got, it got creepy for sure. But what about you? What kind of what kind of games are you looking at specifically, or looking for? Yeah, dude, Coraline is creepy, although really, really good. But it is definitely creepy. Found one that I played, awesome animated Monster Maker. I really recommend looking on YouTube for like two minutes. Awesome animated Monster Maker. That sounds, it sounds like a, like something that would go in with like, alongside Ben 10 or something. I don't know, but you're saying it's creepy? I'll have to check it out. I remember playing like, there was like a Connects game. You remember Connects? That was like weirdly difficult. 1989 CD-ROM that was freaking. <laughs> I think it was like I don't I don't know if it was K I N E X. It was like K N E X. It was like Connects, but that's how they decided to connect the word together or something. Or maybe it is spelled that way, and I'm just misremembering. But it was it was weird. It was like I'm trying to remember. It was it was very strange. I remember playing through it and being like, "Huh, this is quite a strange game." But there were so many. I feel like there were so many games like that where not only was it meant to be educational, but it ended up being either creepier than it yes, yes, you were in a desert. That's exactly what it was. Yeah, it was like a desert with, um, it's, it was weird, man. It was like very, very strange. Oh, can you, okay, try and find this game for me. It was from, I think it was developed by Sierra Entertainment or Sierra Games or something like that. And it was like a... It was like a rally racing game, but you could do like big trucks and um, like really heavy duty looking uh, uh, like uh, go-kart kind of looking things, like dune buggies. And I'm pretty sure it was made by Sierra Entertainment or Sierra Games, but I cannot for the life of me remember what it was called. I th a lot of this stuff it was like I had demo discs for, 
and we never had the full game. Like, there was this one uh, called Motocross Madness, which we only had the demo for, but we played the heck out of it because it was so much fun. Where you would, you could, you could race along an actual track, or you could uh, go into like a desert, hilly kind of area and do like dunes and stuff. But there was always a boundary edge to the map where it would just go into like the fog of war where you can't see anything. And if you rode up the side of it and then kept going, it would it would like explode you back like 300, 400 feet. And there was this really long um, like bunk. And then your guy would like fall over. It was really funny. But Motocross Madness was, was awesome back then. Also, there was like a <laughs> there was a a WWE. Oh man, I can't remember what it was. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just a, a monster truck game where you could play like the uh, the under the Undertaker or the I can't remember exactly who the who the guy was. Soda Off Road Racing. That was it. Oh my gosh, you just brought it back. Wow. Soda off-road racing. I'm gonna have to try and download that because holy crap It's been a minute and it looked like I'm sure now it looks terrible, but back then we were like this looks so cool Your your sleuthing skills are serving me well, I don't know about you. They're serving me well Yeah, it was it was fun. I mean we had like I remember growing up we had need for speed Hot Pursuit, or Hot Pursuit 2 on the PC, which was a lot of fun. A sleuthing partnership, yeah. I'm crawling through dungeons and you're crawling through the depths of Google to uh, find what I'm, what I'm looking for. Oh, Morarim, you are... Very handsome, and also, like, very powerful for me not ever having anything to do with you. Uh, I'm gonna leave you there. No, you know what? Yes. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Soda off-road racing. That's crazy. I can't believe you found that. It makes me so happy. This game, they don't have any cutscene battle. Oh, that's that's what I was saying. I turned them off. So, like, here, I'll turn them on. Uh, we'll do on. Yeah. So, all right. We'll, we'll get to see Ike in action. There you go. So, um, something about this game and the um, the emulator, any sort of like magical effect or attack, like it, it, I'll I'll give you an example. Uh, let me let me try and use. Uh, uh, I need him. He's my mage. Let me let me get to a point where I can use him against someone. And it just makes it, something about the emulation just absolutely chugs the machine. Like it's really bad. Right, I gotta move my guys up. Yeah, the animations themselves, like, look, they look great. I just, you know, they take so much time. Get a heal everyone up. My, uh, my friend Connor calls this game Fantasy Chess. <laughs> One complaint with Fire Emblem was how you have to move. I know, yeah. So, I really, I really kind of wish you could cordon off certain units to say, like, look, I'm okay with the computer taking control of these. 
within reason. Like, I, I wouldn't want, like, oh, hey, these units who are clearly supposed to be support units or healers or archers that are supposed to stay behind, you know, the front line. I, I don't want the computer to take them to the front line or take them past it, but I'm okay with the computer, like, you know, using them to heal so that I don't have to or to just do stuff automatically. I wish that there was a system like that because when you get a big group, it really does take, like, sometimes it takes, like, five full minutes to, to move. Oh, well, that's not good. I wonder if I can get Ike to hit this. I can! Look at that. Ike is... I know. Why aren't the programmers listening to me? I don't understand. Alright, so let me turn the animation on. So this is Soren. He's my, my arch sage or whatever. This is... Currently his most powerful attack. It's... It, the stream is going to, like, chug. Because for some reason the dolphin emulator... Whenever it does any sort of magical effect, I, th I think it should it should chug. If it doesn't, I'll be amazed. It, like, crunches the CPU, and it just... It, it, you'll, you'll see. So just wait for it. Okay, so it did it that... It did, like, the little shutter was not supposed to look like that. Like, it sort of slowed down a little bit. When it really becomes apparent is um, if someone, if a class is, uh, like, like you're upgrading a unit to a different class, there's like this sort of cutscene magical effect where they like, you see them, um, you've played Fire Emblem, you know, you see them as like their current character, there's a big flash, and then they're like, oh, we're upgraded now, I have different armor, I have a horse or something like that. That sequence, like, it's, it's rough. I mean, it's really, really, really bad how... Uh, how much the, the emulation on that gets screwed up. But, it's funny. Okay, so, I think what I can do, bring Oscar over here. I, okay, so I actually thought the same thing. There is, like, in the Dolphin emulator on a PC, you can go into the settings and say, Hey, I want you to, um, I want you to improve, you know, the, the sh sharpen these little details. Or, um, you know, I want you to, I don't know, you could, you know, I, I want better anti-aliasing to happen. Or I want, uh, uh, HDR effects or something like that. So you can tweak the graphics far beyond what, like, you could do on a console, which is, you know, you can't really tweak the graphics at all. Um, so I think it might have something to do with that, but I can't, like, I don't know for sure. Um, uh, my, so my CPU is a... Uh, 4790K or 4970K? 40, 4970K, which is a bit of an older CPU. It's only got four cores, but it has hyper-threading, which is really... <gasps> oh, no! How did that happen? She was so strong. How did she get taken down by an archer? What? How did that happen? An archer with a steel bow killed, like, one of my most powerful people? Was she hurt? Oh my gosh. I, ha I have to restart. I can't, like, not do it. Sorry. Give me a second. It'll be black for a moment. No. Oh man, I really wasn't paying attention, but I didn't think that it would... I didn't think I was in any danger for that. Titania! Oh yeah, I'm playing I'm playing a Wii game on my PC with a Xbox One control. <laughs> we're getting we're getting all the cross console uh, content in here. Oh, that makes me really sad. I know. 
<laughs> I'm, all, I'm all over the place with this. It's 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 been crazy. Okay. I'm actually going to do a good job this time and not just haphazardly send my guys up. So, let's start fresh. Yeah, no, I totally understand. It is almost 11 p.m., so you, you get to bed. Um, dude, thanks so much for chatting. I hope you uh, join some more streams and watch some more content <sighs> and chat because I miss you. I miss, uh, you know parts of game uh i guess but yeah i definitely miss miss talking to you so i hope you stick around for for a little bit more on some other streams and it'll be great to catch up with you and yeah just in general you're doing awesome stuff so uh i'll be on the lookout for for, for your tweets as always but yeah have a good uh, have a good night That's good. Ugh. Whatever. She's just gonna die. is going on I have to restart again this is insane this is my nightmare Ugh. I'm just gonna beat this level and then I'm done for the week it's stupid because this is not a hard level at all
Okay. Dang, dude. Jeez, dude. What the heck? Good, good job. Titania! Oof, just got real tired all of a sudden. What the heck? What's going on? Good. Nyla, come over here. Take care of him, please. Wonderful. You got a door key.
Woohoo! Wow! He took two crits in a row. I love it. And he's just like, eh, whatever. Come on. There we go. Da, 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 da.
Boy. <sighs> how how does that happen? I gotta stop again. I can't I can't let Morum die. He's too important. It's ridiculous. Ugh, why is this top section so difficult? For no reason. They, like, double stacked it with... I don't know. Ridiculous. Ugh! Pisses me off. Really, really, really does. Ugh! Alright, I'm gonna beat this level. And then I'm done. I gotta use the bathroom first. <laughs> Give me a sec.
Of course, I forgot I was muted. I'm back. I got my snacks. I got my soda. I'm gonna beat the crap out of this map. Starting right now. Ugh. There we go. Starting now. Come on. Good. Oh my gosh. What is this, my third time through this map? It's getting ridiculous. I just keep making little mistakes, like stupid, stupid mistakes. Like, Moriam died, and for, for no reason. Like, I had him up there, he downshifted to his uh, normal uh, Lagoo's body instead of his animal one. And I just, I shouldn't have had him up there in the first place. But, knowing that, I'm going to move everybody down so that no one else is up there except for Ike and freaking Gaytree and uh, Nyla. And then we'll go from there. Or Nyla. I don't know if I'm... Nyla. Nyla. I don't know if I'm mispronouncing anything. Who cares? Nice. Alright, come on. You got this. You got this, bro. Come on. Also, we're just gonna be, like, chowing down on, uh, you know what? Here's what I do. Oh, that was... Okay, good. I got both of them. I was worried it was just going to get Reese. I need to make sure, basically, that this archer can't hurt anybody for real. And I don't think he can now. So it should be good. That's fine. Oscar can take it. Maybe not for much longer, but he can take it. And Titania could definitely dish it out. So if you're watching, and you don't know what game this is, this is Fire Emblem, Radiant Dawn, 2007, I think, for the Wii, Nintendo Wii. Sequel to Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, which was for the GameCube, I believe 2005, made by Intelligent Systems. Great company. Uh, I believe they still continue to make Fire Emblem games. So if you wanna know anything about these games, I'm your guy. <laughs> Anything else Fire Emblem related, uh, it better be about the original Fire Emblem for GBA or Fire Emblem Sacred Stones, because I think those are the only other ones that I've played. But, I just had a good chat with my friend Celia, who mentioned that, really, I should be... Uh, playing Fire Emblem Three Houses, which is for the Switch. I have not played that. I do have a Switch. I don't know why I haven't played it. I should. It looks fun. Who doesn't love uh, Fire Emblem?
That's not good. Wow. Ha <laughs> Look at that, we got a door key.
Oh no. Come on. Are you kidding me? Thanks.
Oh god. Wow. Oh my god. You freaking kidding me? God.
This is so stupid. Oh my gosh. Why do they keep... Uh, seriously, like, every... It seems like every single map... Every, almost every single map... They just continuously pull in more guys. And it's like... I don't know, it just seems so ridiculously... Unfair sometimes. Just this one section. This section right here. Two times. Three times. It's been filled with people. That's insane. That's... I don't understand how that's fair. Whatever. I'm not restarting this time. It's ridiculous. Why wouldn't you shoot him back? Well. Now I have to restart. Alright. Here's what we're going to do. This is how it's going to go down. I'm not going to take my guys over there. I'm just going to put them on the same platform that Ike is on. We will go through and have the better advantage of height. And any time that that platform is filled up with enemies, we will mow them down mercilessly until they are dead. And then when it fills back up again, we will mow them down again. This is supposed to be an easy map, and it is not at all. This this seems quite ridiculous to me that it's this difficult. Simply because, not because I'm in a bad position, but because whenever I get into a position, it's automatically filled with people just relentlessly to, to no end. God, it seems so unfair. I would get I would get filling it once with with a group of people unexpectedly. But to continuously do that, that's just that's just not right. It's so stupid. It really like really ticks me off too. So sick of this fucking level.
tired of it. I tell you. Hold on. Quick refill. Oh, let's get it going. Yes. All right, last time.
Oh, come on. <sighs> Gay tree, why don't you actually hit more than once? I don't understand. If anyone knows that answer, by the way, why don't units uh, always attack more than once? Or why don't they always attack twice is the answer, is the question. I don't get it. Is it something to do with a stat that I'm not aware of? I figure that especially when somebody was in their second class, that they would have enough... I don't know if it's strength or agility or, or uh, speed or something to be able to do two attacks at once, but it seems like, especially in this game, it seems like way fewer people actually do that. But I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe not. So if anyone watching knows, like, is it, I, I assumed it would be skill. And then if you're fighting someone with a higher skill than you, you might not get the chance to attack twice. That sort of makes sense to me. Like, I can I can kind of make an exception for that. But if it's just some arbitrary thing that isn't listed, then I think that's crap. Okay, tree. I can't trust Gatrium. I do everything for him. Even though he's my tank. Ridiculous. Oh, he's got one. Are you kidding me? Good job, Soren. Your resistance is massive. Okay, come on. You got this, Ike. Ugh, so close.
Oh, yeah, that's what I need to do. Just bring Ike up. <clears throat> Oof. Gosh, dang, Oscar. How does that happen? Your defense is really... I thought it was better. Great, I got a coin.
upgrades. <clears throat> oh. Good. Come on. How do you... Come on, you frickin' kidding me?
All right, I'm done. This this level is absolutely freaking insane. There's like an endless, literally endless amount of guys to the point of it just being plain unfair. I've beaten it before. God, I mean, this is like terrible. Really, it, it's ridiculous. This guy can apparently sleep anyone, and no one can dodge it. I, I thought you could dodge sleep if you had... The range is one... I, I don't... And, and it won't tell me what his range is, so I cannot stay out of its area of effect. It's just, like, ridiculous. Put two of my strongest people to sleep, so they're just soaking up damage. I can't defend against it, apparently, because even though... Well, that's not great magic resistance. She has 26 magic resistance and still gets put to sleep. That's great. That's like if Soren, who just freaking died... Oh my god, this is it's so ri ridiculous. It's... it's... it's crazy. I'll do it one more time. One time. This is, this is like brutal. How ridiculous this is. Every, every single turn, it's like, hey, four more guys, four more guys, four more guys. Go to sleep. Like, and you can't, you, you can anticipate it, but you can't do anything against it, which is, which is insane. I don't, I... Honestly, I don't know what to do anymore. Other than to just... I could keep my guys down on this level, wait for all of the waves of extra people to come in, beat them. It just takes so long. Like, it shouldn't... Like, this is not like a huge, huge map. It's big, but it's not... It's not nearly as big as some of the other ones. And it's taking me like 45 minutes to get here. Not even to get into the final room. I... I <laughs> don't get it. It's, it's just... Oh, man. I've... I've beaten this game several times, but it's been a couple years. And this just feels absolutely brutal. T to a ridiculous amount. Like, truly, like... It doesn't feel fair. And I'm not playing on, on a difficult... I'm playing on normal. Or I suppose whatever counts for normal. I don't know, man. I... I don't know. You make one little mistake, and then someone and incredibly important to the story dies for no reason. been through this so many times. It just feels... 
ridiculous. Yeah, almost three hours. Sadly, uh, I've only beaten one level. This is, uh... I'm, like, fading. I've tried to beat this level four times now, and it's just the most ridiculous thing. It's getting to the point where it's, like, just as a player of this game, like, someone who likes this game, Seeing it now, years later, after after playing it for a really long time, it's absolutely brutal. Just ridiculously unfair. Literally, this this section, these guys right here, you, you kill them, you get up here to this platform. Three separate times, on three separate turns, three guys get, like, transported here, and you have to beat them. Then... Four guys get transported here. This guy has this, which will put, apparently, anyone within his range, which the game will not tell you what it is, which it should, any single person who gets hit by that gets put to sleep for, like, five turns. And they can't do anything. They can't even defend themselves. They're just standing there. And even if you have ridiculously high magic resistance, like... If you look at um, hers right here, is like 26 when she's in beast form, which is really good. It still gets her. And it's it's like, you can't go past, um, I think it's like, like in a circle. Like if you go past like this line here, this guy can get you. And it's, it's so unfair. It, it's just, I've tried it so many different ways. And it just makes me angrier and angrier to the point where I want to quit, but at the same time, it's like I want to beat it just because of how much I hate this level, and I don't want to come back to it next week. So I think I'm just going to push through and hope that uh, it's a little bit easier at some point. No, there's still, like... I mean, it's probably around, like, the 75% mark, but it's not like it's, um... Like, close to the end. Like, this is just, like, a random boss from the first game. Um, he's not even that strong. I don't know what I'm doing here. And then, like... At turn 10, I think, or turn 11, four guys get transported down here. So if you have people, like, around here just waiting at, out of reach of this guy, you have to then turn around and defend against four guys down here. And it, it's ridiculous. It literally, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Can't use him. Can't use him. Can't use him. He can't fight. He can't fight. So really you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You have 8 people that you can actively use to fight against around 65, 70 enemies. That's insane. That's like crazy. 
and they're strong. They're like really, really powerful too. It, it just it feels like so overwhelming at times. It's, it's ridiculous. Ugh. And it's not counting. Two guys in here, probably two or three guys in each of these. Like, because these are rooms you can open up, like these little covered areas. It's, it's insane. Insanity. Absolute insanity. I'll just keep doing it. I think what I'm going to do this round, or this this time around, is um, literally, I'm just going to keep everyone down in this, this area where Ike is right here, and just wait. I'm just going to wait for all the people who get transported at whatever turn is is defined by the the developers and just wait them out and i'm not going to move forward until i'm sure that everyone who's going to be transported in is killed and then i will move forward i don't even know how to deal with the sleep guy anymore other than to put um my magic user forward but even then i don't know if he can dodge the the sleep thing so it's like I get that this is like the nerdiest thing I could be complaining about, but it really does piss me off like a lot. That the developers are like, just throw more shit at the at the player. Like just more people. An ungodly amount of people. Like, I don't even think the White House has 60 uh Secret Service members at at the White House. Like that's this is like insanity. Get some health back, Titania. There you go. Nice. See, I have strong guys. Like, they're really... They're good at fighting. But you can't defend from all sides all the time. Like, it's... There's gotta be... Somewhere, there's, there's like, gotta be a break in the enemy's defense. But no, they just keep throwing people, and it's like, too bad, deal with it, sucks to be you. And like, Ike can, Ike is like my strongest guy, and he could pretty much take care of anyone on the map, but he can't defend against magic that will put even my strongest magic users to sleep. So if he gets put to sleep, he's literally, he can't do anything, he can't defend against himself, he just takes hits. And it's like, well, what do you, how is that, how is that remotely fair if you can't even attempt to dodge out of the way of this distant magical attack that I still don't, like, when you hover over someone, it's supposed to show, based on whatever weapon that they have, uh, like if it's a magical user, like, look, I'll show you. Um, so see... Um, how I can see like the orange that's where this guy can attack because he has a long range magic attack so I can go after this guy or uh, yeah um, okay so maybe it's not quite that long but I can bring him up here and attack this guy if I really wanted to but I don't want to right now um, yeah, and it, it it doesn't show that for this guy. Even though he has a sleep stat. Oh, maybe because it's not equipped. I guess that makes sense. But still, it's ridiculous. It's stupid. I guess that does make sense. But it still pisses me off. Royally. Stop going after Boyd. Ugh. I've been consoling myself with chocolate. Or, uh, 
dark chocolate pretzels and then the nonpareils. That's how, that's how I'm getting through this, is massive amounts of sugar. Soda. They want whatever. How are you doing? I hope your night's better than my stream. the first wave of three guys. Ooh, good combination. I need to read, I need to do an entire watch through of Seinfeld. It's been, well, since college, so it's been like six, seven years. for boy. Yeah. First season is pretty rough. I mean, as most first seasons of most new shows are, but it's, um, because, like, I don't even think Elaine is in it. I can't remember when Julie Louis Dreyfus was hired. If it was after, like, the first... The pilot? But she's not in the pilot. I know that. <clears throat> you got a coin! It's so weird that that's the only show. Even Netflix has like a, you know, uh, well, maybe not. I know they have the play something, play me something, 
which is like, you know, just play me any show, any episode, I don't care. But, um, I don't know. That's interesting. No, my silver axe broke. Sad day. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> hey, Google's gonna sue them over copyright infringement for a button. I guess that would make sense. Alright, so... Now that Ike is up here on this, like, third, f uh, one, two, three, fourth tier, these guys are all gonna come rushing over, because they're like, oh no, not my tier. And, um, yeah, they're gonna do that. I think if I keep him over here, like, pa like if I don't let him, these two squares, if I don't let him pass, he can't be hit by this guy. I think. But I don't know. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think that's more than nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm, it'd be tight. I don't know. I still think he'll be okay. What? 15 messages were deleted by a moderator. Nightbot timed out for five seconds. Reason stop spamming symbols? All right, I gotta... Hold on. They, I can't believe they deleted all of your messages. <laughs> like, all of them. Is there any way we can get it to back off even a little bit? Okay. You're valid. You do exist. Try and get what's her name over here. This just feels slow all of a sudden. Yep, there you go. Yeah, you got to use the emojis that uh, um, the the Twitch says are okay to use. So stupid. You know what? I'm gonna bring her down here. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. <laughs> I 
It might as well be Russia, you know? Unfamiliar face at my front door? It's more likely than you think. And it's just my crazy neighbor who apparently is a Steelers fan. Good job, Boyd. Holy crap. Where'd that come from? Where was that in the last game? Not even the last map, the entire game. Well, at least Titania uh, is doing, doing all right. All right, I'm just gonna leave Ike over here. He's gonna deal with all this crap. Hey, look at that. It's the last three. What? Why does this alarm keep going off? I didn't set an alarm. I don't, I don't understand. None of this makes sense. Did I really just... Oh my gosh. Can't believe it's midnight. It's crazy. Again. Amazing work, Boyd. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, Boyd out of nowhere is like, yeah, I'll be like super powerful for no reason. <sighs> Although I gotta, oh my gosh, Ike rarely gets hit, and when he does, normally doesn't do that much damage. I guess he's weak against. I guess he really is weak against magic. That would make sense. See, like that hit would have like really maimed anyone else. Of course, he just does that and gets all his health back. Because he is the real MVP of the entire game. So... This is what I propose. I'm gonna put Shinnin up here. Just in case. Bring Oscar over here. Titania down here. I'm gonna leave Boyd right here. Okay, now, at some point, in like the next two turns, four people are going to spawn here. So I've got this Nyla. She's awesome. She's like super ridiculously powerful. She's going to go down here. There's a guy with a crossbow or whatever who will murder anyone up here. She's going to take care of him. Then no one else is going to be able to hit anyone up here because they don't have ranged attacks. Hopefully that'll be enough. Can't know for sure, but watch this. He's gonna shoot her, he's gonna miss, and he's gonna die. Now I'm gonna move Tormid over here. Now, none of them can attack, none of them can go get up unless they go all the way around to here, which they won't. And uh, yeah, she's just she's just gonna she's just gonna chill. I'm going to test out how far forward I can move the Shinnin. Okay. Yeah, they're all gonna go after her because they're the she's the only person that they can hit, and she can just like one hit KO all of them. 
She's so good. This is, this is, it took four turns for this amount of prep to, to actually work. It's so ridiculous. Okay, so they'll go after Shinnin. Oh, look at that. Four, wow. I hate this map. I hate this map so much it is you know what i'm prepared for it though watch this you want to deal with you want to deal with my strongest people go for it deal with titania deal with my strongest mage go for it go crazy even if they hit her no damage. I, I don't know. The people just keep spawning. I don't I don't I have no idea when they actually end. This is like 75 people so far. Four eight here, twelve here, four here, and then like sixty on the map already, plus Maybe four to six in here. But I haven't opened those doors yet, so... That's, that's an insane amount of people. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't think they're endless, though. I do think they, they stop after a while. So stupid. Yeah, so um, there are uh, door keys that you can use, or you can break them down. And then normally the people inside will have like chest keys or something. If there's chests with items, you can you can unlock. Ooh, just gonna chill. I'm gonna move Shinnin forward one more. He's so good. Oh, he didn't even kill that guy and he leveled up. Look at that. Alright, I'm gonna move Ike forward one more. See if there's any more spawns that happen. Okay, there's there's the line. Okay, so Shinnin is now asleep. This is this is why this is why I prepared. <laughs> I can at least defend Shinnin if anyone goes after him with uh, can defend him with Ike. So, like, he can't defend himself at all. But. Okay. Add. Jesus Christ! Oh my god. What is this map? This. This is ridiculous! I don't understand how they think that this is, like, fine. Oh my gosh. It's endless. Alright. I'm bringing. Soren back over here, because these are all magic people. The good thing is... Soren is, like, ridiculously powerful. So I wonder... I wonder if I can... Shove him. You know what? I'll put him over here. They should go after him. I think almost all of them can hit... That's not good. He can hit all my people. 
sh I have to shift everyone. Rescue. Take him, drop. They should be good against magic. That, that has to be the last wave. Three at one time, that's such a ridiculously large amount. I can't even, I can't even fathom, like, it's just so crazy. Why, I don't understand, why are you not attacking twice? Whatever. I'm not even... Not even gonna worry about it. So... I have to check... To see... This guy has a ranged attack. He has, he has Meteor. Which is funny, because maybe I can actually use it on him. I can. He's probably got really good defense, though. We'll try it. Oh, I hit him. Well... It only did two damage, but I hit him. Yeah, I think it might be... I think it might be the last one, but I don't... I don't know for sure. I'm not worried about... I'm not really worried about anyone other than her... Him... He's got horrible... I, I think I'll be okay. Alright, let's see what happens. Jeez, even with support. She's fine. Good. They'll all go after. I'm not I'm not worried at all about the people down at the bottom. It's really just the people on the left and right. I'm so happy she's like the strongest character in the entire game for no reason. They literally just give you to her, give her to you, and she's like a god. All right, that's who I thought. I'll be fine. Even if he gets hit twice. Okay, he's gone. She's so good, I love her. So the nice thing is, is um, you can create support systems between characters. So if they're standing next to each other on the map, there's one more. There's two more. What is this map? I... Alright, hold on. I gotta try something. Mend him. I need to push him forward. So that he can now... Attack that guy. Alright, let's see what happens. Okay, no more ranged attacks from him. Thank God. See, he can get him. I'm not worried because he's at full health. And I'm still not worried about her. Really, just these guys. I'll make sure she's at full health. You reused words. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is this is real rough. 
I'm gonna bring Ike back down. No one's gonna go after Soren or uh, Shinnin. All right, that's it. Oh, absolutely. Fine. It's fine. It's like they, it's like they designed it to force you upwards. And if you refuse, you just have to deal with an absolute onslaught of enemies. I mean, the good thing is my characters are getting a lot of experience, but it's like th this, this map is taking like an hour long. It's incredibly ridiculous. There's so many guys that they have to stack up on one another and they can't actually all attack me at once. That's... I don't think so. I, I don't know if she's ever actually gotten hurt. Um, and if she does... Hold on, I'm gonna have... Come on. There you go. That's why Soren is the best. He's leveled up like three times already. So good. I'm gonna bring him back up. I've missed heal him. Um, yeah, I'll take him out. Bring him down. I'm literally just gonna keep healing these guys until I can get Ike over here. Yeah. I want to say that that was the last one. Hey, she finally dodged. Look at that. Yeah. Did you see how it paused? Like, before the, um... Hold on. She leveled up. Titania. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure it was. Like fairly certain. I'm gonna bring her over here, and then I'll move Ike up, and they can swap places. They both dodged. Amazingly. He dodged again. He's always so bad at dodging anyway. Maybe it's their... I bet you it's because of their support there. They get a defense bonus. Look at how many people there are. So ridiculous. Alright. I'm gonna move, move these guys. We're gonna have a lot of fun here. They're all archers. They can't attack close up. I'm just gonna mow them down. I love how Shinnin is still asleep. Like, it's been how how many turns? Still asleep. Crazy. Oh, she finally got hurt. I guess she can get hurt. Yeah, there's no chance in hell you're hitting that. That's crazy. 
Yeah, I can attack at range, so... Good luck trying to attack him with that. I think if she does her savage attack, she gets all the health back. So it doesn't even matter. Maybe not, but she can apparently be hurt. A lucky arrow did three damage to her. <laughs> She's just mowing down these fools. There's also something called um, a biorhythm, which is like when you basically it's based off of real life, like your circadian rhythm almost. But it's when you're like feeling good and when you're not feeling good, you perform better or worse. And I have a feeling that her biorhythm is not great, so that's why she got hit. I'm glad it's entertaining, because this is freaking ridiculous. He's finally awake! I'm going to keep him there. He's going to use up his sleep again. And we'll, uh... Hey, you know what? Maybe trying to level up, uh... Soar in here. Beautiful. One little uppercut. See how a hand axe does against this guy. Very good, apparently. Look at that. Oh man, I can open up this last chest finally. I cannot believe how many people I just killed. Yeah, there's like a little thing in there. And there's chests in here too, which is why you wanna open them. All right, so I'm guessing this guy's gonna go after Shinnin again. Maybe I can see... No? See, even now, he has... Sleep is equipped. That's the little E next to the staff is. It still won't tell you how far his range is. So there's something There's something wrong there. I wasn't crazy. Well, okay, there you go. He's going to do it again. Still didn't dodge it. A blizzard... That's interesting. Trade. Okay, good, he can use it. See, this is interesting. I may be able to use this, which is long range magic, against this guy. Or I could always just wait for Shinnin to wake up and have him uh, sleep. He only gets three uses of sleep, so once the once the next one is used up, he doesn't have it anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna get my healers, give them some XP. Yeah, look how far he can go. That's crazy. Okay. I'm gonna try and get some people ready. My, so, Soren has, like, a ridiculously high magic resistance, and I'm kind of wondering if I bring him up here, I'm, I just wonder what would happen.
just gonna move everyone up just to be safe. In case there's another random drop of enemies. For no apparent reason whatsoever. see what happens. Nope. I'm literally gonna move them up one by one. Why did he not attack him? Oh, because he's got the long range magic. Uh, makes sense. <laughs> I, I can't imagine being hit by an arrow and just having it have zero effect whatsoever. Like, that would blow my mind. Oh, Shin is awake. Somehow I missed that. Uh, see, he went after Ike. He dodged it! Oh my god. He dodged it. You can dodge it. You just have to be incredibly freaking lucky. That's... So now this guy... As the kids say, ain't got shit. Ow. Suck on that. Alright, well now I'm just gonna blow through these guys. Yeah, that was his last sleep. He has no more. Makes me feel good. Good job, Soren. I'm just literally just gonna stick Ike up here. Party. Just moving everyone up. Oh, he dodged. Sleep no more, am I right? But that support. You too. <laughs> he can be hit by a sword now and still not have any effect. Amazing. He's almost at full power. He's got five more levels to go until he's as strong as he can be in the entire game. He gets his health back. There you go. So those special attacks do sometimes is you take health from other people as you murder them. It's kind of dark. Also, his sword uh, doesn't run out of uses like everyone else's. Bing bong.
Did you just watch like six of your guys go up against the same guy and all die? What do you think you're gonna do differently? Oh wow, he dodged it. That's a first. Boyd, you are making me so proud right now. And you got a Tempest Blade that you can't use. Still, I'm very proud. Ow. Alright, so. Here's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and get all of the doors and chests open. But, I have no idea how many uh, people are inside, so I need to kind of, like, stack everyone to be ready to rush in. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take you... And you. And, and my turn. So no one, no one up here will move. If if I stay at this line, no one here will come attack me, which is great. So I'm gonna heal some peeps. Said so I'm at a hundred percent. My healers are going to work out. And I'm going to shift everyone who can shift. Just because. End the turn. What is this turn like 30? 29? Insanity. Okay. So, because they're magic users. <clears throat> Basically, this character that's glowing right now um, can give characters a second turn in the same turn. So you can move them twice. So basically, all I'm going to do is send Soren in, and he's going to rip these guys apart. Dead. One of them should have a chest key. No? Maybe not. Oh, she's still got two. Okay. So I'm just going to... Let the let the sequence play out. Cause he basically can't be hurt by magic. Or at least not a lot. Okay. Now And they leveled up, look at that. Everyone's getting so strong. So she has two chest keys, so I'm going to open these. I can sell that for like a thousand dollars, I think. Oh, I can sell all of those for money. All right, this one's gonna be a little bit trickier. So, I'm gonna end my turn. Bring her over here. End my turn again. Gonna have Shinin break the door. And good. Okay, I'm gonna send her in and let her deal with those guys. She'll block the entrance so that they can't get out. So they have to fight her. One of them. No? Okay, well. I don't think she has any more chess keys, which sucks, but. It's like clockwork. 
once you once you have like the upper hand, you can anticipate stuff so much easier. But when literal 30, 30 plus people are just randomly dropped in wherever, you can't do anything. I mean, let me just see if anyone has. I don't see any. Yeah, this is the biorhythms I was talking about. So right now he's at his best. So he's really good. Gaytree is. Oscar's doing real bad. Boyd is neutral. Good. Normal. Yeah. Oh well. If I had a thief, I could open these without a key, but I don't have one. I do. I just didn't bring her because she's super weak. Plus, there's one more person to worry about. Okay. I will bring. Soaring back. We're almost done. It'll, it'll still be over in like two minutes. Okay, so. Here is my plan of attack. I am going to... I keep taking turns to move people into the right position. This is just what ha has to happen. It's fine. I'm going to move Ike here and take out this guy. Really easily. go. He's got to be maxed out almost. So you see all these green, uh, the numbers that are b glowing green, that's as high as they can go. So he could use a little bit more of his speed because he's got like, I don't know if you can see like the end of the graph. And his magic resistance is not great, but he's extremely strong. I'm going to send Nyla up here. She's going to take out this guy. Again, very easily. And... Uh... She's an... Uh... I wonder if I can... No, she can't use it. Okay. Interesting. Okay, maybe I'll just leave them here. You know what? No, I'm not going to do it. Hold on, I just need to make sure... Okay, he's got a spear, so I actually have to watch out for him, because spears suck. Alright, that I'll just leave those two up there, and we'll see. we'll see what happens. Great. I can't believe no one else went after. Alright, here's... I'm just gonna go straight for this guy. Oof. She got hurt. Alright, spear guy's dead. Don't have to worry about him. I'm gonna take care of this other general insta kill. I'm going to bring Titania up here. Oh, that's what I should have done. Oh, why didn't I? That was stupid of me. I should have. I forgot about uh, my archer, who's like ridiculously OP. Come on. Oh, he's only got one use left. That sucks, but I had to do it. And you know what? Oh, yes. Okay. So now there's only one other guy who can actually hurt me. Uh, this guy can hurt me, and this guy can hurt me, and this is the boss. So, I'll bring this guy up here. 
Now no one can get down the stairs without killing three people. Which is good. That's fine. He's the only other magic user. Can only attack once. I'm going to send... Just giving him a little healing. Yep. What's going on? Controller like disconnected for a second. All right. <laughs> no damage. Dead. Just killed a priest. Nice. I think she's only got one use of that. Yeah. I broke a hand axe. Ooh, hold on. Oh, I can't steal that. That sucks. <laughs> oh, that's cute. They're healing each other. That's adorable. You got one more. There you go. Okay. Sucks to be you. Sucks to be you. Nice. That was a good one. So I'm going to bring my healer up to make sure that Ike is as healthy as he can be. And then he's going to whoop this guy's ass in like one or two hits. Oh, you're still alive. He, this guy's from the first game. He's like ridiculously uh, obsessed. He's narcissistic. He's super rich. And he's uh, a politician. He, uh, he doesn't like anything that isn't beautiful. Oh. He actually hurt me. Wow. I killed him. Still so many beautiful things that I don't own. Suck on that, Ricky. Oh, my magic resistance went up. That's a good thing. Wow. It would suck if the power went out right now. So, um, the herons are, think of them like angels. The, um, uh, so you see where, I don't know, if, you see where the guy in red is on the steps in the middle? The guy above him it is a heron named uh, Raphael, or Raphael. I think it's Raphael. Him. Um, he's part of the heron clan, and they were basically hunted down because they, uh, in the, in the, Prior to the first game, they were hunted down and killed, and only a few managed to uh, live. And this Nyla is like a queen who's protecting uh, Raphael uh, from like a she's from like a, a a desert country that no one really knows anything about. <sighs> and um, the senators, sorry, the the guy that was like, oh, Raphael, you're alive. I'm so happy. Um, they sort of conspired. They were the ones who conspired to 
work up a mob in this big country to get to basically to put blame on the herons for something that they didn't do and uh a bunch of people from this country went out and killed as many herons as they could and uh they it was later found out by these the main characters and stuff that it was the senators that did that so like we all hate the senators as we should unless you're like the aoc of fire emblem or something Oh, please let me save. <gasps> Hetzel. This goes with pretzel. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they sold some of the herons they captured. Um, instead of killing them, they sold them as slaves. So he nursed him back to health. His wings never fully recovered and he hasn't been able to fly since. Hetzel felt terrible. Do you know what he told me? Once you fully recover, you can turn to the forest. Members of the Heron clan can look inside people's hearts. I knew the truth of what Lord Hetzel said. He was being absolutely honest. I knew I could trust him from that moment on. Yeah, then the Serenus Mass. Oh, okay, so weird. This guy did... This guy captured Raphael before the massacre. Serenus is this big forest that the Herons, like, used to live in. He knew that the, I knew that the senators had murdered the Apostle and blamed my clan. Because of the monstrous ambition of a handful of evil men, my entire race was burned to ash. I returned to the temple. Something happened to me. Some sort of force took hold of me. The next thing I knew, I was lying in the sand. If Queen Nyla hadn't come, I would have died right there. I didn't know. So he was, like... Some sort of magic transported him, I think. Duth Hex Hexel is both your savior and your enemy. Hetzel was not directly involved, nor did he give orders to those who were. Something about him still troubles me, though. Whenever I think of him, I feel chaos boiling up from his heart. I sense it in myself as well. I have the same feelings welling up in me. I suppose that's why I can accept it in him. Your people, the remaining Heron tribe, they've also changed. King Tabarn, King Tabarn is um, the leader of like the Hawk tribe. There's like different... The, the lagoos are like the people who can shapeshift into animals uh, so there's like lions uh, tigers dragons hawks ravens and uh, the herons the, they're like they're like swans I don't think there's any more oh and wolves I guess Yeah, lots, lots of burbs. Oh, I can save. Oh, I did it. Finally. I'm gonna let this guy talk. Tibarn's group passes quickly through Salmo, drawing steadily closer to the Imperial capital. That's Tibarn. He's the hunky hawk daddy. And form bonds of friendship He's great. However, Almeida the queen mother of Dale remains alone and aloof, lost in thoughts of her own. So basically what happened um, like a few weeks ago with me playing is the... Uh, there was like five separate factions that were all fighting each other. Um, and uh, there's this thing called the, the fire... The titular fire emblem that... Um, uh, there was a, a prophecy that if the world ever came together in war, the evil entity held within the Fire Emblem would, would be awoken and break out. Well, it happened, and it turns out that there's actually two evil entities. One god of chaos and one god of, like, uh, uh, formality, of order, and, and order versus chaos, I guess. The Chaos God was locked away in the medallion. The Order God, Asherah, was uh, sleeping. She was sleeping for a thousand years, and she said, if humans and Lagoos can stay away from war for a thousand years, I'll, you know, I won't kill everybody. Well, they couldn't do that. So she woke up, and she was like, screw this. I'm gonna, 
I won't murder everybody, but I'm going to turn everyone to stone. So pretty much everyone in the entire continent got turned to stone statues, but a few of the, you know, most important people in the world, uh, this is really nice music. Um, a few of the most important people were protected by the, the chaos God. And she basically says, Hey, um, it's my sister who's like the 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 order the one who wants to basically kill everyone we gotta go stop her so uh yeah that we split into three we had like one main group of everybody who's like okay we gotta go do this now and in order to increase our chances of survival we split into three groups and each took a different path towards the capital which is where ashura is in this huge uh holy tower so you keep switching between different uh, groups as they make their way down. So that's a long-winded explanation of what happened. But <sighs> Look at Tabarn. He's, so, he's such a hunk. Nalencia is the, uh, the young new queen of a fledgling country that was uh, the center of attention in the previous game. <gasps> it's Bastion! My favorite! He's most likely gay. <laughs> um, but he's got style for days and he's uh, a magic user. He's, a, he's the queen's head of intelligence. He's fantastic. He speaks in, like, poetry. I apologize again from the deepest place in my heart. It's so good. I love it so much. It's ridiculous. The f Honestly, the first game, the story in the first game is, like, it's like World War II, basically, in, in a fantasy world but it's it's really well done oh i love bastion he's so cool he's literally been he he's been absent the entire game and nobody knows where he's been <gasps> volki so uh volki was this assassin from the first game who has many secrets as his look would suggest. heck is I think I'm trying to remember who the guy in the, the masked guy is but okay oh my goodness wow that was literally four hours of streaming I'm so tired alright I gotta shut this off. Uh, okay. I am like exhausted. I'm gonna sleep so well tonight. Anyway, Connor, thank you for watching. Uh, anyone else who might still be here, thank you also for watching. This was the longest part uh, of the Fire Emblem Kyle Emblem series that I've done so far. Hopefully I don't have too many more because, man, I was stuck on one level for literally three and a half hours. That was not fun at all. Um, Celia, if you're watching this uh, tomorrow or something, thank you for dropping by. It was very nice chatting with you. If you are interested in watching more Subpixel content, you can give us a subscribe. You can follow us here on Twitch at Subpixel Team, or you can go to subpixelfilms.com. That'll take you to our YouTube channel, where you can then subscribe, watch all our amazing content that we have. We have streams going on every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, sometimes Friday, sometimes Saturday. Check our schedule. And you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Subpixel Team. 
I've been Kyle. This has been part 15 of Kyle Emblem. I will see you right here next Wednesday at 9 p.m. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.